In the 1930s, before World War II, the German Air Force primarily equipped aircraft with the MG-15 for self-defense. This machine gun, which used a saddle drum magazine, had a slow rate of fire and relatively poor sustained firepower. In high-speed aerial combat, where aircraft flew at speeds of several hundred kilometers per hour, there were few opportunities for gunners to take shots. Being able to fire more bullets in a given amount of time would cause greater damage. In 1938, the MG-81 machine gun, developed based on the MG-34 General Purpose machine gun, began development. Compared to the MG-34 machine gun, the MG-81 made some optimizations while controlling production costs, or rather, improvements to meet aviation requirements. The shoulder stock was no longer needed, and the feed mechanism was changed to a structure that could feed from both sides. It still used the short recoil principle with a rotating bolt, and the rate of fire was increased to a maximum of 1,600 rounds per minute, faster than the later German MG-42 general purpose machine gun, nicknamed the Ripping Cloth Machine Gun. It could be called the Ripping Cloth Machine Gun in the air and was one of the fastest single-barrel machine guns in the world. It used the same ammunition as the MG-15, and the German army already had ready-made machine gun belts, so all that was needed for the MG-81 machine gun was to connect the belts together. Originally, the machine gun had a 600mm long barrel, but it was believed that it would be difficult for gunners to hit distant targets on fast-moving aircraft, and it would increase the size of the weapon. In production, the barrel was changed to 475mm, which reduced the muzzle velocity but helped increase the rate of fire and reduce dispersion. The single-mounted MG-81 machine gun weighed 6.5 kilograms and was 915 millimeters long, or 965 millimeters with the muzzle brake. The theoretical rate of fire of the machine gun was 1400 to 1600 rounds per minute. Because it used the same ammunition as the MG-15 and other machine guns, the effective range should be similar, around 1000 meters. The German army also had a dual-mounted version, which was a gun mount that could accommodate two MG-81 machine guns. It used a linked trigger to control the firing of both machine guns, doubling the output of ammunition. The entire set of equipment weighed 12.9 kilograms. This dual-mounted machine gun was called the MG-81Z and was the most numerous model in the German-produced MG-81 machine gun series, with a total of 20,378 sets. It's worth noting that the total production of single-mounted MG-81 machine guns was only 46,000, so most of them were used to form dual-mounted machine guns. The Stuka dive bomber also used a machine gun pod that could accommodate six machine guns, firing at a rate of up to 9,000 rounds per minute, equivalent to 150 bullets per second. This was a disaster for unarmored ground targets. In addition, aircraft such as the Du-217 bomber had a tail gun turret that was used to repel enemy fighters attacking from behind. From the development of World War II, it can be seen that the 7.92mm caliber aircraft machine gun did not prosper for long because later aircraft became more robust. 12.7mm, 13mm machine guns, or 20mm cannons were more suitable in terms of power, weight, and ballistic performance. With the loss of air superiority, the German Air Force's operations were greatly restricted, so many MG-81 machine guns were disassembled and used in ground combat. In addition to being used for anti-aircraft operations, the Army equipped them with bipods and simple shoulder stocks to be used as squad machine guns. It is said that these machine guns performed well. However, the MG-81 did not seem to have the ability to quickly change barrels. With such a high rate of fire and the need for continuous firing in ground combat, the barrel would likely overheat quickly, indirectly affecting sustained firepower. The MG-81 aircraft machine gun entered service in 1940 and completed its service career by the end of World War II. Production continued until 1944.